Tanzania. I've seen Mr. Rugimbana. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, members of uh, media, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Honorable Minister, my task this morning is simply to welcome you uh, to address this gathering on this very important occasion. However, allow me to say one or two words before I actually uh, invite you to the podium. First and foremost, today's event marks a very important, uh, it's a very important day in the history of the tourism industry in Tanzania. As we might remember or as we will be aware, one of those factors that prospective visitors consider when they plan their trips, the number one factor that they consider is safety. Price comes number four, but safety will be number one. They will have all the money to go to a place, but that question that they will ask the first and foremost is, will I be safe? If I go to that destination seated on the plane, will I come back home seated on the plane or will I come back, back home in a wooden box? That's the question that they will always want an answer to. And today's event, Honorable Minister, provides that answer. The, the very important uh, one million dollar question is answered today. That is, Tanzania is a safe place. Tanzania is a safe destination to go to. So this uh, is a huge milestone in the history of uh, Tanzania's tourism. Honorable Minister, allow me to invite to the to the to the podium three individuals here and there's a point that I want to make, a very important point that I want to make. I want to invite to the podium uh, my brother engineer Matindi, please would you join me to the front. Secondly, I want to invite Mr. Richard Rugimbana, wherever you are, could you please join me to the front and Miss Devota Mdachi, would you please join me to the front. The point I want to make Honorable Minister, is this. These three individuals represent what I call a holy trinity of tourism industry. Without these three, the organization they represent, without you know, them being working together, the tourism industry is never complete. The operators Mr. Rugimbana represents the Tourism Confederation of Tanzania and comprises of uh, comprises uh, about 13, 14 uh, trade, trade associations. They may go out there, spend their little money promoting, but it's never, it will never be successful if Tanzania Tourist Board is not there, if the national airline is not there. The Tanzania Tourist Board will go their own way promoting the destination, but where are these people, how are they going to come to Tanzania? They need transportation. Where are they going to, you know, spend, uh, you know, overnight or sleep in uh, accommodation uh, facilities? They will need those accommodation facilities, and Mr. Rugimbana represents that sector of the market. But all these two can do their job. The, the, the operators can do their job. The Tanzania Tourist Board can do their job, but if we do not have a national airline, we are losing revenue. We are losing money. We are we are losing non-tax revenue. This is why you know the three of them together make up what I call a holy trinity of the tourism industry. And I want to thank you so much, uh, uh, lady and, and gentlemen. I know that you are helping us so much. You are working together. Uh, I want to thank, uh, personally, I want to thank Engineer Matindi. He's been very responsive. His strategies are very responsive. He will always seek our advice when they are planning their routes and so on and so forth because airlines or planes don't simply fly to those destinations, but they fly there because there is a 
there's a business to uh, there's demand that and most of that demand would be visitors cargo comes second but visitors will be the key uh, uh, market or the key business that will keep the airline afloat so I wanted to recognize them and uh, to thank them for the good uh, working relationship that they are, we, are, we are working together on and uh, as I said last week Honorable Minister one of those good uh, examples of us working together is the result of today's event where we had the operators the private sector working together with us to see to it that the destination is safe and today honorable minister is the culmination of that effort i want to thank you so much uh, ladies and gentlemen thank you so much before i um, exit the podium let me finally want to thank uh, the Minister of Health and uh, I want to thank uh, the, the Permanent Secretary Minister of Health for the tireless effort in the last few weeks I have worked together with him tirelessly to ensure that this destination sends the right signal to the prospective markets that is Tanzania is safe remember the, the, the fraternity the tourism fraternity will remember that we came from 12 advisories number one number two number three and then there was the travel advisory number four when that travel advisory number four was released the whole industry was paralyzed and as I said last week I received a lot of phone calls and texts to ask me to speak to the to my counterpart in the Ministry of Health to ask them to really consider the position of the tourism industry and I'm, I'm glad to say that I worked tirelessly you know every time I would bother you know my counterpart in the Ministry of Health to make sure that this uh, travel advisory number four is lessened a little bit because those are the facts Tanzania has sailed through this uh, pandemic and we are a destination that uh, that is safe this is why today we join only few other countries I think three other sub-saharan sub uh, Africa countries to receive this uh, safe travels uh, certification so I want to thank uh, the, the, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Health for, uh, for his assistance making sure that this industry uh, once again uh, is ready to receive visitors and to send the right message to the public that t Tanzania is a safe destination. Honorable Minister, this event is not mine and I'm not contesting for any uh, member of parliament position so without further ado honorable minister it is now my privilege and singular honor to invite you to the podium to make a statement at this very important occasion sorry i'm reminded here i forgot to recognize uh, one of those uh, very important people in this uh, tourism industry uh, that is uh, the, the head of uh, the, uh, the tourism, Tanzania uh, National College of Tourism, Dr. Shogo Mlozi, please. She works in the, in, the, in, the, in the backstage. We don't see her in the front as we do uh, to Miss Devota, but the product that she's producing is the one that is ensuring visitors their safety and their well-being. Sorry, I forgot to recognize you, Dr. Shogo. So without further ado, Honorable Minister, the podium is yours. Uh, Honorable Constantine John Kanyasu, the Deputy Minister, Minister of Natural Resources and Tourism, 
Dr. Alois Nzuki, the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Natural Resources and Tourism, Honorable Judge Thomas Mihayo, the Chairman of the Tanzania Tourist Board of Directors, Directors, uh, members of the board, uh, Mr. Votam Dachi, Managing Director of the Tanzania Tourist Board, Mr. Richard Rugimbana, the Executive Secretary of the Tourism Confederation of Tanzania, uh, tourism stakeholders, members of the press, distinguished guests, and here I would like to specially recognize our ambassadors for Tanzania Tourism, uh, as earlier on also recognized by the Permanent Secretary, Dr. Nzuki, I uh, would again reiterate by recognizing Mr. Diamond Platinums, the CEO of Wasafi, his management including Salam, uh, Ms. Zuchu, and as well the Conde Gang CEO, Mr. Harmonize, and your team. And another ambassador is Ms. Milen Magese, uh, all the way from the United States of America, and all other CEOs that have been in, invited to grace this important occasion. And especially I would like to recognize the presence of the ATC uh, Executive Director, Mr. Engineer Ladislaus Matindi, and the CEO of the AICC, the Arusha International Conference Center, Mr. Kaaya and Shilia, and as well members from the private sector, as represented by the TCT Executive Director, Mr. Richard Rugimbana. I see representation from the IAT, uh, from the Serena Hotel, and all these other important stakeholders in our sector. Uh, you are all specially recognized. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon. Uh, before I continue <coughs> delivering my speech in English, I was keen enough to prepare a Swahili version that is going to be presented by the Deputy Minister, uh, Honorable Constantine John Kanyasu. So I would like to now leave the stage for him to deliver the Swahili version of my speech. It's a very short, a short speech, and, uh, and mine as well is very short. So I would rather uh, uh, present uh, both of them. Please, you're welcome. Habari za sasa hivi. Mheshimiwa Waziri Dr. Hamisi Kigwangara, Mheshimiwa Katibu Mkuu Dr. Rose Nzuki, mwenyekiti wetu wa board, judge staff Thomas Mihayo, kurugenzi wa bodi ya utalii Devota Mdach ndugu Richard Dugimbana katibu mtendaji wa shirikisho la vyama vya utalii Tanzania ndugu yangu engineer Richard Matindi wajumbe wa bodi wadau wetu na wabalozi wetu wote wa utalii lakini pia Tanzania wote ambao wanatutazama habari za mchana kama alivyosema mheshimiwa waziri E, kwa niaba ya wa Tanzania wengi ambao hawasikii mayai naomba ni nitoe tafsiri ya ujumbe wa Mheshimiwa Waziri kwa lugha ya Watanzania Awali wote napenda sana kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu mwingi wa leema kwa kutuwezesha wote pamoja kukutana hapa siku ya leo nao furaha sana kushuhudia hatua hii katika tasnia yetu ya utalii Tanzania nawakaribisha washirika wetu wote kutoka baraza la wasafiri na utalii duniani yani World Travel and Tourism Council ambao wameungana nasi mbe huu kwa njia ya mawasiliano ya mtandao tunawashukuru kwa kutunga mkono na kuipatia Tanzania matumizi ya muhuri wa usalama kwa wasafiri ambao ulipokelewa tarehe 22 Julai mwaka 2020 ndugu wageni waalikwa mabibi na mabwana kwa namna ya kipekee Napenda kumshukuru sana Mheshimiwa Dr. John Pombe Magufuli, Rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania, kuongozi wake mahiri na juhudi zilizodhihirishwa kwa nchi yetu kupambana na janga la COVID-19. Kwa kupitia hatua alizochukua 
ameonesha uongozi imara si tu kwa nchi yetu bali pia kwa dunia nzima jinsi ya kukabiliana na janga hili zaidi ya hayo uamuzi wake wa kufungua mipaka yetu huku tukichukua hatua thabiti za kudhibiti janga hili na kuifanya Tanzania salama ndio sababu kuu ambayo imetufanya kuwa hapa leo na kupewa uh, kutumia muhuri wa usafi, kwa usalama kwa wasafiri ndugu waliko wa mjini wa bwana ninao furaha na kukupongeza Dr. Aloisi Nzuki katibu wetu mkuu mpya wa Wizara ya Maendeleo na Utalii pamoja na timu yote kutoka taasisi na wizara na wadau wengine wote ambao kwa pamoja juhudi zenu zimetufikisha uh, zimetuwezesha kuitangaza Tanzania ndani na nje nchi kazi yenu nzuri katika tasnia hii inatambulika na kupongeza sana nilifarijika kufahamu kwamba kipindi cha janga la covid 19 hamkubaki kimya bali mliendelea kushirikiana na balozi za Tanzania nje ya nchi kuifikia dunia na kuitangaza kuitangazia utalii wa Tanzania kama mnavyokumbuka mapema mwezi Juni mwaka huu nilipozindua mwongozo wa namna bora ya kuendesha shughuli za utalii wakati wa janga la covid 19 SOP nilizungumza kuhusu umuhimu wa kuutalifu ulimwengu kwamba Tanzania ni salama nina furaha leo kuona juhudi hizo zimezaa matunda na heshima kubwa asubuhi ya leo kuzindua rasmi matumizi ya muhuri salama kwa wasafiri uliotolewa na taasisi kubwa na inayotambulika na kuaminiwa duniani kuweka uelewa wa wasafiri na watalii wanaopenda kuitembelea nchi yetu kwamba Tanzania ni salama kwa kuzingatia miongozo ya usalama na afya iliyotolewa ndugu wageni waalikwa na bwana kwa wadau wetu wa sekta ya utalii napenda kutangaza kwamba Tanzania sasa imeorodheshwa kuwa miongoni mwa vivutio vilivyo salama duniani na imethibitishwa kutumia muhuri uliotolewa na baraza hilo sambamba na utambulisho wetu wa nchi ya unforgettable Tanzania destination logo matumizi ya muhuri huu self travel stamp ni muhimu kwa kujenga tena imani kwa wasafiri na watalii duniani kote na kwamba wasafiri wanahakikishiwa miongozo ya usalama na usafi inazingatiwa na hivyo wapo salama wanapokuja Tanzania. Vile vile matumizi ya muhuri huu yatathibitishia wadau watalii kwamba Tanzania ni salama kwa wageni, kujenga matumaini jipya kwa watalii na kutekeleza sera na miongozo ili kurejesha imani itakayoimarisha tasnia ya utalii Tanzania. Na washukuru wadau wote wa utalii Tanzania kwa ushirikiano mlioutoa katika kutekeleza yaliyomo katika mwongozo na kufanya shughuli ya utalii wakati wa janga la COVID-19 ikiwa katika mambo yaliyowezesha kupata muhuri huu matumizi ya muhuri huu unaozinduliwa leo ni kwa ajili yetu sote serikali wadau katika sekta ya utalii wa Tanzania wote kwa ujumla ni jukumu letu kukuza na kuendeleza utalii wetu kwa juhudi na maarifa mahali popote duniani na wasihi kutumia muhuri huu kwa kama fursa ya kupata watalii wengi katika kipindi hiki ambapo nchi nyingi bado hazijafungua mipaka yao kwa utalii sasa ni wa, sasa ni waombe Mheshimiwa Katibu Mkuu nasoma message ya waziri kwa hiyo na mimi nimejikuta niko hapa <laughs> kwa pamoja tushike jada letu na nitumie nafasi baada ya kusema hii hotuba yangu kwa kifupi niseme tu kwamba Tanzania ni salama na matumizi ya muhuri wa salama kwa wasafiri kutoka baraza la wasafiri na watalii duniani sasa yamezinduliwa Mheshimiwa Waziri karibu sana Uh, first and foremost i wish to thank our almight god for granting us this day and the wonderful opportunity to gather with you all good people here today at ttb in good health and it gives me great pleasure to witness this important milestone in our travel uh, and tourism industry in tanzania i welcome all our partners from the world travel and tourism council who have also joined us in this occasion through video live streaming we thank you for your support and for granting Tanzania the safe travel stamp that was received on the 22nd of July 2020 ladies and gentlemen distinguished guests in a very special way i wish to thank his excellence dr john pombe magufuli the president of the united republic of tanzania for his sound leadership and efforts demonstrated by our country to fight covid-19 pandemic through his actions he has provided leadership 
not just in our country, but also to the world on how to fight this particular pandemic. Furthermore, his decision to reopen our borders while taking strong measures to control the pandemic has made us to be granted the safe travel stamp here today. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm grateful to congratulate Dr. Alois Nzuki, the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Natural Resources and Tourism, and the entire team of the institutions under the ministry, as well as tourism stakeholders for your tireless efforts in promoting tourism inside and outside of our country. Your incredible work in this industry is noted and is highly appreciated. I'm happy to learn that during this COVID-19 period, you did not remain silent, but you kept on and found a way of cooperating with Tanzanian ambassadors outside the country in reaching the entire world to promote destination Tanzania. As you remember, early June this year, when launching the National Standard Operating Procedures for Tourism Industry, I mentioned about the importance of informing the world that Tanzania is safe, and I'm very happy today to eyewitness the positive impact which those efforts have brought. It is with great pleasure this morning to officially launch the Safe Travel Stamp granted by this renowned institution, which creates awareness to travelers and tourists who wish to visit different destinations worldwide, and dozing on destination Tanzania is safe while adhering to the established health and safety protocols. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, to all our stakeholders in the tourism industry, I'm pleased to announce that Tanzania now is listed as a safe destination among other destinations in the world and is certified with an authority to use the stamp alongside with our unforgettable Tanzania destination logo. The stamp is vital to establish worldwide consumer confidence in travel and tourism because travelers can be sure that in enhanced standards of hygiene are in place for them to be able to travel safely to Tanzania. Let us all use this stamp to assure stakeholders and tourists that Tanzania is safe for visitors, rebuild trust in our guests, and implement policies and guidelines in place to restore their confidence in strengthening the tourism industry. I'm grateful to all Tanzanian tourism stakeholders for putting into practice the national guidelines for tourism activities in Tanzania, the SOPs, which has assisted in obtaining this stamp. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this stamp launched here today is for all of us, the government, the tourism stakeholders, and all Tanzanians. It is our responsibility to boost our tourism sector with all the energy and vigor anywhere in the world. I urge you to use this stamp as an opportunity to obtain many more tourists during the pandemic, where other countries still have not opened their boundaries for tourism. I now ask the Deputy Minister, the Permanent Secretary, the Deputy Permanent Secretary of the Minister of Natural Resources and Tourism, the Chairman, the Chairman of the TTB, the Managing Director of TTB, the Executive Secretary of TCT, to join me here and launch the stamp issued by the WTTC on your own behalf. This thing. Honorable Minister, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as the front row has stood before us, I request Hosa to give them the folders. And Honorable Minister, I will request that you all hold the folders for a photo opportunity. While at the back on the big screen, ladies and gentlemen, we have prepared animation of how now the safe travel stamp will be used 
alongside with Unforgettable Tanzania uh, logo so that we can all see. And this stamp is for all of our publications to be used. Now I invite Honorable Minister to say the words. <laughs> Tanzania is safe in the use of safe travel stamp from the World Travel and Tourism Council is now officially launched. <laughs> Tanzania and together. Another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, and this signifies that together we have all launched the use of the stamp. If I can have one more time the show of the folders while you can get the background, please photographers, this is your moment. I've created this moment just for you guys. So as if you can see the folders and you can see the beautiful smiling faces, I know Anna Romisa, he doesn't smile often. But for this one, I'm sure he'll smile, you see? Thank you. If I can have Honorable Minister remain and together with, um, yes, Mr. Rubimbana. The rest you can take a seat. And since this stamp is also for private sector, I wish to also create another photo opportunity for our ladies and gentlemen from the press to signify that this stamp is not only owned by the government, but it's for private sector. So on behalf of private sector, Honorable Minister, kindly join hands or shake hands with Mr. Rudimbana to show that you have given also the stamp to the private sector. And yes, we can clap. <laughs> and together with that, I think you also have invitation to have others to join. Okay, and for those uh, special guests that the minister has requested that you join on behalf of tourism to broadcast the entertainment industry. So if we can have all of the invited guests by the minister, um, uh, Diamond Platinum, please lead the CEO of Wasafi. And together with Salam, please. Oh, Moje Moje. Yes, all these are uh, TCT uh, stakeholders um, because they are carrying Tanzanian flag once they go beyond our borders to play their music or in the entertainment, fashion and industry. Um, they always carry the Tanzania unforgettable destination with them. So I now welcome Zuchu. Zuchu, is, she's an upcoming artist. We thank you for your presence and your beautiful smile, obviously. Thank you. Now, Mr. Salam, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you so much. Um, also, we have um, Harmonize. Harmonize, Mr. Harmonize. These are the people who are carrying our flag, especially the flag of Tanzania, to show the world through their entertainment industry 
that Tanzania is indeed unforgettable. Uh, now I'd like to also call Lady Milen, Lady Milen Magese. Through her work internationally beyond Tanzanian borders, she's been carrying Tanzanian flags, especially in the tourism sector with her, and we recognize her presence and her efforts. Thank you so much, uh, Honorable Minister. Uh, these are the people behind the uh, behind the uh, behind the curtain that have been. So those are representatives from the inter entertainment center, entertainment industry. Now from the public sector, from the public sector, I'd like to call upon the CEO of AACC, the CEO of Ta I think I've seen Tower Air Tanzania. Oh, Deputy Minister too. NCT. Munyakiti, please. Yes. And Katibunku and Madam. Can you join the podium, please? These are representatives from the public sector that together have worked tirelessly to make sure that Tanzania obtain the safe travel stamp and together we will work to promote the stamp across the border of Tanzania. Asante Nisana. Now with a very special, uh, yes, um, before hoteliers, because since the chair of the board was there, I'd like to call upon chair of the board together with board members. I understand among us there are board members. This is a um, very special consideration. These are the people who have been giving us marching orders. We don't sleep. If they cough, we catch a sneeze. <laughs> That is Tanzania Tourism Board, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Now I would like to call upon a representative from the private sector again. I see hoteliers, I've seen Serena and others in the hotel industry and airline industry, I believe. Kosota. Kosota as well. I've seen Kosota. And for those invited guests who did not get the, uh, the folder, inside the folder there is also um, SOPs which have been launched by the minister a um, couple months ago, but we have reprinted them for this special occasion with the logo on it. So make sure before you leave you have your folder with the stamp, but also with the SOP book. Can we, did we get all of them? This is a large group. Did we get all of them? I think they got it. They say yes. Okay, okay. Technology. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I thank you, Honorable Minister. Please. Okay. kabla kabla sijaenda kukaa najua kizungu kigumu sana sema nimeona tu wa dada ndo walikuwa nakipatia patia lakini eh, sisi wanyamwezi kutoka huko mikoani tunajiumauma tu hapa lakini haswa haswa lengo la hii nembo na ndio maana tumefanya kuwa na event hii kubwa uh, 
ni kuitambulisha nchi yetu kwamba ni destination salama. Ni nchi chache sana ambazo zimefanikiwa kupata hii nembo ya safe travels. Kwa hivyo ni nembo ya fahari kwenye sekta ya utalii kwa zama tulizopo. Na hii itatoa confidence kwa wageni huko nje kabla hawajaja hapa watakapoiona kwenye matangazo yetu ya utalii. Kwa hivyo kuanzia sasa video zetu, picha zetu tutaweka nembo ya safe travels. Mtu akiona tu hiyo nembo ataamini kwamba Tanzania ni salama. Kwa hivyo atapata uh, confidence ya kubuku safari yake kuja Tanzania. Uh, kwa hivyo inatoa wito kwa wadau wote waliofanikiwa kuhudhuria kwenye sherehe hii na wale ambao hawakuhudhuria kuitumia nembo hii kwa kadri inavyowezekana. Kwa hiyo mabalozi wetu kama wasanii ambao mna followership kubwa kwenye mitandao, watu mashuhuri kwenye videos ambazo mnatoa uh, kwa ajili ya shughuli mbalimbali ambazo mnafanya kwenye picha ambazo mnatoa mabango ambayo mnatoa mnaruhusa ya kutumia hii nembo ya safe travels ukiweka tu pale mtu atakuja kuhudhuria kwenye event yako akiamini kwamba uko katika nchi ambayo ni salama na kiukweli Tanzania ni salama tunaendelea na juhudi zetu katika maeneo mbalimbali mbali, kwenye entertainment industry kwenye mikutano safari za ndege kwenye mahoteli kwenye hifadhi kwenye fukwe kote mambo yanaendelea ba ukitembea jioni Dar es Salaam nightlife imerudi kama ilivyokuwa kabla ya ugonjwa wa corona na hii ni dalili kwamba tuko salama tusinge kuwa salama maana yake tungeshuhudia watu wakilazwa mamia kwa maelfu kwenye mahospitali tungeshuhudia misiba kila kona lakini dalili kwamba hatuna misiba hatuna watu waliolazwa kwenye mahospitali inaonesha kwamba nchi yetu ni salama na corona haipo hata kama zimebaki pockets za hapa na pale lakini sio significant na ndio maana juzi zuchu wamefanya event hakuna aliyeugua corona pale watu wameenjoy wamemwangalia binti anafanya mambo yake wamerudi nyumbani wamepumzika na baada ya hapo hakuna mtu aliyeugua wiki iliyopita tumeona alikiba amefanya tamasha kule Mtwara na anajipanga kwenda kufanya lingine huko Kigoma watu wako salama maisha yanaendelea harmonize kafanya tamasha kule Dodoma maelfu ya watu wamekusanyika kila kitu kinaenda vizuri hakuna baada ya pale tungetarajia tuanze kuona maambukizi hakuna uh, bahati nzuri mimi ni mtaalamu wa afya ya jamii kwa hivyo haya ni mambo yangu katika hali yoyote ile baada ya event kubwa kama hizi wanazofanya wasanii ama ile tuliyofanya sisi CCM kwenye chama chetu pale Dodoma tungeanza kushuhudia kiwango cha maambukizi kuongezeka kama kweli kungekuwa kuna watu ambao wameambukizwa katika mikutano ile ama katika hizi events ambazo zimepita kwa hivyo tumeona tuwalike hawa wasanii na watu mashuhuri ili mtu pia anayetuona apate ile picha asidhani kwamba hii ni jambo la serikali peke yake ama ni jambo la utalii peke yake hapana linahusu kila mtanzania ambaye yupo kwenye entertainment industry kwenye hizi sekta za burudani kwenye sekta za mapumziko kwenye sekta za mikutano uh, siasa kila kona ya maisha ya mwanadamu na ndio watu wetu wengi wapo huko kwa hivyo ndio maana leo naona tuna CEO hapa wa AICC wenye wanahusika na mikutano yupo kuja ku, ku, kuwakilisha sekta nzima ya mikutano. Kwa hivyo uh, shughuli hii na mafanikio haya tuliyopata ya kupewa nembo hii ya kimataifa ya safe travels inaonesha ni namna gani tumepata mafanikio makubwa kwenye kudhibiti kusambaa kwa ugonjwa wa COVID-19. Na hapa kwa namna ya kipekee tunamshukuru sana na kumpongeza Rais Magufuli kwa kuongoza mapambano haya. Hatimaye tumefanikiwa. Majirani zetu walitucheka, walitungonga, walisema kila aina ya maneno. Lakini mwisho wa siku wamekuja kule ambako sisi tuliingia miezi mitatu iliyopita. Na kwa sababu kisayansi kama kujifungia ndani kulikuwa kunasaidia, maana yake wasinge pata ongezeko la cases kwenye nchi yao. Lakini leo ndio kesi zinaongezeka. Na leo sasa ndio wanafungua na biashara, maana yake nini? It's counterproductive. Kwa hiyo wamejifungia, wameharibu uchumi wameharibu maisha ya watu kijamii 
lakini mwisho wa siku wamekuja kujifungulia wao wenyewe wameanza tena kufanya shughuli kama sisi kwa hivyo sisi maana yake rais wetu aliona mbali sana kabla yao na ndio maana sisi hatukujifungia na, na, na kwa heshima hiyo na kwa uongozi huu madhubuti ambao mheshimiwa rais ameutoa kwenye mapambano haya dhidi ya covid 19 ninadhamiria kwenda kumkabili hiki cheti cha safe travels mheshimiwa rais kwenye siku ambayo atapanga kwa sababu kimsingi yeye ndio sura ya nchi yetu na yeye ndiye mwakilishi wa Watanzania wote ambao wamefaidika na uongozi aliyoutoa kwa hivyo hii nembo kwa niaba ya wananchi wote wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania tutamkabidhi mheshimiwa rais Dr. John Pombe Joseph Magufuli kama heshima ambayo anastahili kwa kutufikisha kwenye mafanikio haya. Kwa hivyo nilipenda niliseme hilo kwa lugha ya mama ili uh, tuelewane vizuri. Asanteni sana kwa kuja, asanteni sana kwa kunisikiliza na tuitumie nembo hii ipasavyo. Tupige kelele kweli kweli, dunia nzima wajue kwamba Tanzania ni salama na kwa sasa hivi sisi tunawahofia wageni kuliko sisi wenyewe. Ndipo kwa sababu tunataka dola zao hatuna namna tutawakaribisha lakini tutakuwa tunawataka wanawe mikono wavae barakoa na masharti mengine. Sisi huku mtaani hakuna haja hata kuvaa barakoa. Tuko salama. Tunaaminiana, tunashikana mikono, tunakumbatiana, maisha yanaendelea. Hakuna shida. Lakini kwa wageni tutakuwa makini kidogo. Kwa sababu tuna wasiwasi wanaweza wao wakatuletea corona ambayo hapa sisi tumeshapambana nayo na tumefanikiwa kuishinda. Asante sana. Asante sana mheshimiwa waziri. Thank you so much honorable minister. The last item that is on our agenda was the vote of thanks. But before we move to that item, honorable minister, I wish to disturb you a little bit and ask you to come forward because I was reminded that I've forgotten a very important group of people that I think without them we would not have been here uh, enjoying this event. I have forgotten the people of Tanzania Tourist Board, the family members of Tanzania Tourist Board, the staff that have worked tirelessly. I know yesterday some of us slept here and this morning they had to take a shower close by and attend this event. So Madam Devota Mdachi, uh, our leader and our patriot in this um, family of TTB, please come forward so that we can have representatives of um, staff of uh, TTB, those committee members, but also whoever that is close by, even if you're not in the committee, please come forward so we can take a group picture with the minister to symbolize, yes, Deputy Minister, please, Mwanyakiti, Dr. Nzuki. Ladies and gentlemen, these young boys and girls, uh, ladies and gentlemen, old, young, all of them here at TTB. They've worked so hard together to complete this event of today, including myself, by the way. So I'm going to move to the picture. Two groups. Okay. Two groups. Let's do two groups. Okay. Okay. Two groups. Okay. Two groups. Okay. Two groups. Two groups. No, actually, they can fit. If I can have, yes, they can fit. If I can have this uh, at the back. Move the other side, please. The other side is empty. Just move the other side. Let me ask two groups. Okay, I'll have from Musa to Hosa. Um, the rest move, up, move aside and then Tarudi for the second group. Up to Hosa. Up to Musa, yes. The rest just step aside. We'll complete this group and then the group uh, next group will come here. Next group, please. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. Before you leave, before you leave, sponsors, all the sponsors, all the sponsors, Asante TV, now sponsors, Tanzania National Parks, 
Tanzania Wildlife Management Authority, Tanzania Forest Service, TFS, Ngorongoro Conservation Area Authority, Event and Exhibition Services, True Vision Production Limited, Serena Hotels, Kilimanjaro Audiovisual Services, Seashells Millennium Hotel, Revolution Events, Perfect Cleaning Services, Eden Catering, and last but not least, AG Ask Group for printing our folders and SOPs. These are our sponsors who in kind have contributed a lot of the things that are here today. And we wish to recognize them, Honorable Minister and distinguished uh, frontliners, that without them, this event will not have been a success. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for them. Thank you so much. Now I wish to call upon Mr. Richard Rugimbana for a vote of thanks. Mr. Rugimbana, your podium. So mine. Yes, it's all yours. Mimi na kazi moja tu kwa maana ya kutoa neno la shukurani. Na naamini wakati tunatoa neno la shukurani basi itakuwa ni safe stay kwa ajili ya muda mchache tu. Honorable Dr. Miski Gwangala, Minister, Minister of Natural Resources and Tourism. Honorable Constantine Kenyasu, Deputy Minister, and the Minister of Natural Resources and Tourism, Ambassadors and Representatives or foreign representative. Dr. Lois Nzuki, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry. Honorable Judge Thomas Mihayo, Chairman of the Tanzania Tourism Board. Ms. Devota Mdachi, Managing Director of the Tanzania Tourist Board. Tourism stakeholders, journalists, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. On behalf of members of the Tourism Confederation of Tanzania and the Hotel Association of Tanzania and all tourism stakeholders, I would like to thank Honorable Judge Mihayo, Chairman of TTB, for inviting us to come and participate in receiving the Safe Travel Seal from the World Travel and Tourism Council. On a very special note, I would like to express our gratitude to the Fifth Phase Government under the leadership of Honorable John Pombe Magufuli, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, through your ministry, Dr. Miski Gwangala, for continuing to work with the private sector in the whole issue of promoting tourism in Tanzania. We thank the Minister for launching the National Standard Operating Procedures, SOPs, in June 2020, which we have been using in our operations and enabling us to increase the confidence of the visitors we serve that Tanzania is certainly safe. I'm pleased to hear that the Tanzania is listed among other countries in the world that have been certified to have the authority to use the security seal along with the Tanzania Unforgettable Logo. Honorable Minister, we promise to make a good use of this seal in our efforts to grow our economy and achieve a high economy level. Our request to our government is that, as usual, you will continue to cooperate with us and continue to provide us with all the available information that will help us in continuing to serve tourists with the aim of increasing the number of tourists coming to Tanzania. Thus making Tanzania certainly an attraction of all nations in the world. Let me end by thanking you all, Asante Nisana, Tanzania and Fegetro. Another round of applause for Mr. Richard Rugibana, who is the representative of all the private sector who are being uh, determined or targeted uh, as users, main users of this stamp. Honorable Minister, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, this marks the end of our event today. I did promise you that it will take a little bit before two hours, and we have just concluded it just before that time. 
So for another round, uh, we thank you for being here, Honorable Minister, for launching this temp. And from now onwards, this temp is going to be used. I understand Mr. Salam said that another concert of diamond, um, this will be the logo that he's going to use. <laughs> so we thank you so much for that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there are refreshments being organized and um, uh, for, for you guys, but also members of the press would like to have another interview with uh, our distinguished uh, guest. So please feel free, within the given time, you'll be allocated to do interviews, but don't just focus on the front line. There's also representatives from the hotels, from other private sector, from the management and also members of the board of Tanzania Tourism Board. So feel free to pick uh, for an appointment to have an interview while you are enjoying refreshments and um, what has been prepared for us. Tanzania Unforgettable. Okay, another round please. Tanzania Unforgettable. Thank you so much for coming. This marks the end. I was Mindy Kasiga, your host for this day, and I hope you have enjoyed. See you next time. Karibuni sana. If we can have the screen uh, videos, please, country videos and all the safety videos. WTTC, or World Trade Tourism Council, we represent the global private sector. And I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate Tanzania, especially the government, the Minister King Waldala. Yes, it is a matter of our interview. I mean, like I have to show the event here. And by Tanzania, I'm a part of the group. Salama Zidia, Makamano, Yonja, Ama, Virus, Nilevia, Corona. Now, what you can do is you can figure out that you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Yupo Munaizi, Yupo Diamond Platinum, pamoja na ujumbe wake wa WCB waliweza kufika hapa katika eneo hili. Na hii imekuwa kama furaha eh, kwa upande wa sekta ya kiutalii kwa sababu nyingine Tanzania itaendelea kupata watalii zaidi na zaidi kwa sababu tunashuhudia majirani katika nchi jirani huko wakaendelea eh, kukumbana na changamoto eh, kuhusu swala zima la utalii. Lakini kwa Tanzania imekuwa salama hadi kufikia hatua ya kupata muhuri ya kuonyesha ya kwamba iko salama zaidi na hii ni nafasi nzuri hasa katika kutafuta fursa za kiutalii kwa sababu pia eh, ni miongoni mwa nchi sita Afrika ambazo zimeweza kupata nafasi hii ya kupewa muhuri. Tutaweza kuzungumza na watu mbalimbali pengine kusikia maoni yao na kutueleza eh, pengine wanazungumziaje hatua hii ambayo ni kubwa Can you play again the WTTC the WTTC video can you replay it again Hello, my name is Julia Guevara. I am the CEO and President of WTTC, a World Bank Council. We represent the global private sector. And I would like to take this up.